Hey, this is Eric. Welcome to CartoonLearning.com. This is uh, a, the next part in our tutorial on how to create a character with Anime Studio. We're going to do the ear today. And now your ear layer is going to go above your hair layer. So make sure hair is selected and add vector. We'll rename it ear. The nice thing about this setup is unless you're doing a straight on shot, which you re almost never need a straight on headshot with your character. We can always keep them angled off to the side like this. And you actually only need one ear. Uh, we can create two, you can create two if you want. If you create a second ear, you're gonna put it underneath your face layer so that it's tucked in back here on this side. But for this one, we want it out front so it'll cover the hair if need be in the future. But go ahead and uh, grab your add points tool. For pro users, select skin from your list you should have already created a skin layer all right now we'll add points bloom 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 and hit spacebar when they're overlapping we've created our basic shape now let's take these two use our curvature tool click and drag to the right and round it out and create an ear shape and we are going to tighten this up big time. All right, now what I want you to do is use your freehand tool. Um, this is exactly what we want. Right, turn off auto close, leave on only auto stroke. And we're going to do a black stroke, and we'll leave our width as four. And just create a simple shape to the ear. Just like that. We'll give it a little bit of a, a shape to it. There are a lot of points in here. You can always just select your points with your translate tool one at a time and delete. That's all I'm doing right now, just to give it the right shape. Okay, now what you want to do is grab this, your hide edge tool, click it, and click right here, and we're going to eliminate that. Now grab your width tool, and we're going to select this point, and you can just drag it back and forth to get the look that you want. Um, pretty much minimized is about right. So now our rendered face, if we hit Control R, we see the final product looks like that. All right. Actually, I don't like this straight shot here, so I'm just going to add one more point and then translate it. Oops. All right, and then uh, I'll shape these up too. Minimize. And all I'm doing is changing the line width right now, if you don't know. And that looks pretty good. I told you if you wanted two ears on your character, you could go ahead and create the second one. I'm actually going to show you a shortcut uh, so that you're not wasting your time by actually trying to draw a second ear. You already have one created. Highlight it. Hit this. This will duplicate it. This little plus sign with the looks like a yellow post-it note or something like that. Um, now you have ear two. As I said before, it's going to go behind your face layer. So drag it down here so that it's under face. Now you have two ears stacked on top of each other. What we're going to do is come over here, set your origin. This is your origin tool. Grab the origin. Set it right about here so you can keep track of this. On ear two. Okay, now grab the layer tool. Now come up here and see this little horizontal line with the two arrows? Click it, and you've just flipped your ear. So now you can translate it just by clicking and dragging, and you'll see, like I said, it was going to go behind there. Um, drag it over here, and we'll show just the edge. And now you have two ears. If we do a Control r and Render, that's what your character will look like. Um, I'll actually, I'll tuck this a little bit further behind. I don't like keeping the second ear. There's no need for it. Alright, one quick change. 
Uh, we're going to move the ear two layer down behind the whites because it's actually bigger on this character than I'm used to using because uh, it was showing right here in front of the eye whites. So that's where you want to put the ear.